Okay, this is the priming menu. We're going to discuss what this one does for your particular pool. In order to get into the priming menu, of course, we hit the select button. You hit select, and it tells you what gallon per minute you wish for this pump to try priming at at its maximum. So we set it for 30 gallons per minute. I hit the down arrow key, the maximum priming time. This pump is pretty intuitive. It knows when it's primed and when there's not water enough to keep the system primed. This pump will only try priming for a maximum amount that you establish. If we wanted to change this, we might go down to 10 minutes and hit enter to save. This means that if the pump were to try to prime for 10 minutes and could never get prime, it would actually shut off and an alarm light would light. That's important because if you had a leak crack in your filter or a leaky pipe that was pretty substantial in a typical, another pump that wasn't in Teleflow, you would damage the pump by trying to run it in a dry situation. The next key by hitting the down arrow button is the system priming time. This would be how long does this pump, if it can prime very quickly, how long do we need it to maintain the priming speed? Typically in most applications we're not very concerned about that, zero minutes would be sufficient. Because if the pump can prime in 30 seconds, we'd like it to go ahead and move out of prime into running. The only time that you might want to change this time would be if you have a solar system connected to the pool or the equipment was very high above water level and the pool typically... Or you want it to run faster for longer to make sure that it's going to prime up mm -hmm. before, before it kicks down speed. Yeah. In those typical applications, you would have a lot of air in the system and the pump could not adequately prime very quickly. Exactly. And that is it. We hit the down arrow key and we're back to the priming flow.